Kenya is a country of contrast, where poverty meets modernity. A country where most people have a mobile phone, while about 40% of the people do not have access to safe water and even less to sanitation. The right to clean water for all is enshrined in the constitution, but it is still far from being met, especially in rural areas. NGOs are supporting the government to provide access to water in the unreached areas of the country. Often, one of the only options is to hand over the management of new infrastructure to a community group. But many of these groups struggle to operate their water system properly and sustainably. They work in isolation, don't have good cost recovery systems, and often fail to ensure basic maintenance. This means that, too often, people receive poor quality or insufficient water from the systems. <laughs> I'm Catherine Wanjehia, working for Carita Switzerland as their senior wash advisor. Over the years, I have been involved in training community groups on how to manage their water systems, but keeping them functional have been a real challenge. To address these issues, in 2014, we developed an approach to help these community groups manage their systems better and also to be able to comply to the national standard. Our approach is called Integrity Management Toolbox for Small Water Supply Systems. It's a long-term process that takes about one year and it has three main phases. The preparation phase, we get stakeholders on board and we analyze the context. Second is the Integrity Management Workshop, where the group analyzes its main challenges, its compliance issues, and develop an action plan. The last one is the implementation phase, where the group implement the agreed actions. The Integrity Management Workshop is a key moment in the process. It is designed to be as participative and open as possible. And now I'll explain the main step of the workshop. In a first step, we introduce integrity. For that, we ask the community group to identify the good news they would like to hear about their system or the bad news they would rather avoid. This initiates a discussion on the meaning of integrity. In step two, the group maps out their water system from source to users. This helps trigger discussions on how the system is managed and some key challenges already pop up. Step three is about stakeholders and compliance. First, the group is introduced to the different stakeholders of the sector and its rules and regulations. Then, the group makes decisions on what management model they would want to go for and agree on action. From step four, we look more at improving the performance. The group identifies three key integrity problems using the cards. And in step five, the group selects the tools to address the problems identified and put it in an action plan. After the integrity management workshop, the implementation phase starts. During this phase, together with other stakeholders, we support and accompany the group on a weekly basis for minimum six months. 
Two additional workshops are also organized at three months interval to assess the progress and revise the action plan. This implementation phase is very essential for the success of the process. Integrate Management Toolbox has been developed uh, by, with the partnership of WASREB and CARITAS and Water Integrity Network. Now, why we, we are very keen on this is basically uh, that uh, regulation is also an aspect of governance. If you look at how rural areas have been uh, operationalized and managed, there have basically been no accountability. There are no quality of service standards, and even those people who operate are not aware that they are supposed to actually provide service as, as per the rules and regulations and be accountable to the people they provide. They are basically their own. They operate like a private club. They are also not uh, well managed professionally, and uh, that has been going on for a long time. And how much can you really expect from communities? You can only expect as much. This is the challenge we are actually trying to address as a priority is the performance of these water supply systems. That is why the integrity management toolbox is very, very critical. What makes this integrity management toolbox different from other approaches? It's a long-term accompaniment process that involves all stakeholders of the sector. For about one year, weekly follow-up visits and multiple workshops to review progress will be organized. Gradually, community groups will recognize the economic value of water and improve the way they manage water services. They will also be provided with simple and tailor-made guidance to comply with the national regulations. This will support the overall sector's effort towards professionalization and realization of the right to water for all.